And I think we're in for a storm. So a lot of black clouds coming over. Hey, guess what? I got the flash animations working. As you can see. So anyway, one of you suggested I should try to download the um, Flash for um, Windows Internet Explorer, which apparently is this file right here, which I've made a copy of, just in case it, I lose it. See, this is the one that I used. This is the one that I installed. The you know the regular one that comes up when you try to install Flash Player, you know, it comes up on the website. Well, I had a little look and see, and, um, well, I managed to find this one, and that's fixed the problems with playing Flash, as you can see. <clears throat> so there's one of my animations for the Star Kids, using all pre-drawn and um, hand-drawn graphics, of course. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update on that. Okay, Red, you can drive the cloud, run off. Go on. So I thought we'd take a look inside those two speakers that I found. And you remember that one of them sounded good and the other one sounded pretty bad, so... I think one of them was blown. Now, this isn't going to be the repair video, this is just going to be a simple... Let's take a look at what we got inside. This will probably use oval speakers, considering that's the kind of speakers that they used back then. Of course, I could be wrong, but I'm just going to take a look inside. This is not going to be one of those big videos. It's just going to be... Let's take a look inside. Let's see what we got in there and stuff. Okay, then. I've got all the screws out. Let's take the back off. Okay, we see some acoustic dampening, that's good. I hope this isn't fiberglass, because I'm going to pull all that out the way. And quite a few layers. Alright. Oh, wow. That looks pretty well engineered. So we got a woofer, that sounds a bit bad, but that might just be because of the pushing on the edge of the comb. Tweeters, aluminum however you pronounce it, magnets, and even a crossover. I was not expecting to see a crossover in this thing. Now, as far as I know, this is the good one, this is the one that still works. So, we're going to take a look in the other one and see what's in there. Okay, well here we are about to have a look in the other speaker. One thing I've noticed is we've got a little terminal block here. I'm not sure if that's original or if that was an afterthought put in there by the previous owner. This one also has that as well, but um let's take a look. Let's just get that out the way. Get the dampening out the way. Let's see if anything is different in there. Oh, what has this person done? Well, that's certainly different to what's in this one. Oh, I've put the phone back, though, but... There's not even any surround on this speaker. No wonder that would... No wonder that didn't sound too good. I think I might have a six-inch speaker that could be a good replacement for that, but... moment this was just uh, you know, a look inside. I'm really surprised to find a crossover in such a speaker like this but so I think that's gonna be in a future video where we'll re replace this um, replacement and I think these will be a very nice set of speakers. But yeah, like, I'm really surprised that there's actually a crossover in, sp in a speaker like this. I thought, you know, they'd just maybe just have, like, a capacitor connecting the tweeter and the woofer would be connected directly up to the amplifier. Like you see in a lot of um, speakers from the time. Anyway, I think I'm going to go have a look for a replacement speaker for the 
for this one, and that will be in the next video. I mean, who done that? Who done that?